Hey, this is Jamie with Powder 7, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about uh, Nordica's Side Country series. Uh, this is a kind of a new concept that they uh, started up just this last year here, and there's several skis in this category, and they share some similarities, so I'm just going to go through them. Uh, this right here is the narrowest in the Side Country series. This is the burner. The burner measures uh, 126 at the tip, 84 in the waist, 112 in the tail, turning radius of uh, 18 meters. Um, the thing that makes these the side country skis is uh, that they're pretty lightweight. They use a, uh, it's a wood core in these skis, but as you can see this kind of lighter strip that goes through the middle here, that's a synthetic strip. So you get the benefit of a true wood core, but it, it lightens the ski up about 18 to 20 percent. The other thing that defines these skis is uh, it's kind of a, an early rise cam rock, which basically uh, moves the uh, point of contact with the snow back 25 percent on the ski. So you get a tip that basically sits off the snow a little bit and uh, that'll lift you up in the powder. It'll help you go through the crud, that kind of thing. Also, in the side country skis, they come with a notched tail. There's a little bit um, of uh, an elevation in the tail, not much. It's uh, more similar to a flat tail, but the notch actually is meant to work with uh, skins that are made um, by a Swiss company for these particular skis that come pre-cut. So basically you get a pretty lightweight ski, you get a pretty good side cut on it, and uh, you get some rocker. And so this ski is going to perform very well on the hard pack, and then once you get it into the side country, the softer snow, that kind of thing, the rocker tip is going to lift it up. This one is 84, that's the burner. The burner is really uh, made for someone who's going to spend probably the majority of the time uh, on the Grim Trails, but who wants to see uh, a little bit of an option to go off trail. Um, this is a Steadfast here, the next one up. Steadfast is a 132 in the tip, 90 underfoot, and 118 uh, in the tail, and it's got a 20 meter turning radius on it. So a little bit more ski here. Um, obviously it's going to be a little bit heavier, not a ton, but um, you know basically this is more of your 50-50 uh, you know, ski with 90 underfoot. Still going to perform very well on the hard pack, it just gives you a little bit more volume underfoot for uh, going you know, off into the woods or hiking or whatnot. Um, again, you've got the rocker tip, the, uh, the early rise, moves the uh, contact point back 25%. You do have a notch in the tail for the pre-made skin. And uh, moving on up, we've got the, uh, the Helen back. And this particular one is uh, it's a shop model, so it's mounted up with the uh, marker baron which is a, uh, as many of you probably already know, it's an area ready binding that you can also tour with. Um, pretty lightweight, but uh, this is the binding, in my opinion, for this ski because at uh, 98 underfoot, this is perfect for your backcountry, side country touring. It's a light enough setup to, uh, you know, spend some time getting back there, but then you've got a really torsionally rigid ski with rocker in it and uh, you can really float this thing pretty darn well. So this is a great ski for all you side country, slack country folks. Um, you know, you just want to get back and, and get into those powder stashes and you want enough ski to do that. Um, again, comes with a flat tail and it's got the notch for the skin. Um, I actually just was touring this uh, last week and um, it, you know, surprisingly good touring. I felt lightweight underfoot even with the, uh, you know, this, this marker bearing, which is not an extremely light binding, but uh, very decent ski, great in the powder, floated just great. Um, <clears throat> this is the, uh, the biggest ski in the Side Country series. This is the Unleashed Hell. Uh, this ski's kind of different from the other ones. Uh, it's 143 up front, 113 in the waist, and uh, 132 in the tail. It's got uh, an 18 meter turning radius on it. This has got the, uh, the uh, high rise cam rock, which means it's basically got uh, rocker in the tail, rocker in the tip, and camber underfoot. Uh, this is really your uh, full on powder uh, backcountry jibber ski. Uh, the other thing that's nice about it though is that with this camber underfoot, you actually can take it on the hard pack and it will still carve very well. It has the advantage of being a lighter ski because of uh, the I-Core. With all the rocker in it, you know, it's definitely going to excel in the powdery conditions. Um, but I would definitely use this ski um, on a hard pack day as well. 
So this could definitely be a you know one ski quiver, as could any of these skis out here. It's just kind of you have to think about uh, what conditions you favor, what you think you're going to be doing the most. If you're going to spend most of your time on the hard pack with a uh, you know every once in a while getting back into the softer stuff, go with the burner. Uh, if you're going to be most of the time in the powder, in the backcountry, go with the unleashed hell. And then anything in between, you, know, you just got to think about where you're going to spend your time. Uh, one thing I would say about the burner is that uh, if you're going to be doing longer tours, um, this would definitely be a great ski for that because it's super lightweight. The longest length in the ski is a 178, which uh, you know for some of the bigger riders out there may not be a long enough ski, so you might have to jump up to the steadfast. But in general, the Side Country Series is uh, built for those folks that you know definitely need a good ski for the area, but also want something that's uh, versatile for backcountry as well. Uh, this is the uh, Side Country Series by Nordica.